weekly vlog. We're back. Why is this making so much noise? My car is weird. I don't know. I just, I don't like my car lately. I feel like I've just had a lot of weird things happening in here. Um, for some weird reason lately, my like seats are jiggling really hard on the highway. I don't feel like they've ever done that before, like especially the back seat too. Like if I go over like 60, it's like like shaking like crazy. I don't know what that is. But I don't like it because it makes really loud shaking noises and it just makes me distracted. So another weekly vlog, we're back at it again. Um, I hope you guys are still enjoying these. It seems like you are. You guys seem to really love these and I love doing them too. So what's going on today? It is Monday morning. It is 10, around 10 o'clock. Um, I'm driving out to Natick because I'm meeting a brand there like that I'm gonna be working with, but like they wanna fit me for a bra. So I'm like dope because uh, I only have one bra that I like right now. Uh, I go through my bras and then it's like I can't find a good bra like I'll have a favorite bra for the longest time I had a bra that I loved from a dormy um, I had it for like a really long time and I wore the crap out this is what I do I find a bra I love I wear the crap out of it and then it's like it dies and I don't repurchase it I start a quest for a new bra I should just repurchase the same bra but anyway I'm excited to be working with this brand none of this is sponsored right now I don't know when that that's down the road I'm just getting fitted for a bra today um, and I'm excited about it because I, I really need a new bra um, I have a lot of bras that I don't like and I only have one bra that I do like so I'm wearing it right now because it's all I have my eyelash is sticking to my skin okay recap of the weekend I always try to tell you guys what I did on the weekend um, Alan did vlog on Saturday so if you want to see what our Saturday looked like um, it's over on his channel and that vlog and his channel if you don't if you don't follow my boyfriend does have a channel um, we've posted on it quite a bit over the last few years um, but he's not like a consistent youtuber or anything he just likes to post when he feels creative and that's his thing and I think it's good um, but on Saturday we were going out and he's like I feel like vlogging today I'm like vlog do it babe I don't vlog on the weekends so uh, kind of nice so if you want to see what we did on Saturday I'll link his video down below if you want to go give him a little a little love uh, okay, so yeah, on Saturday we went to the casino because Alan had like um, free slot play for his birthday. So it's his birthday month. His birthday is on Thursday, so I really want to. <coughs> I really want to set up like a really cute birthday display for him um, for when he comes home from work on Thursday. He doesn't want parties. He doesn't want celebrations. Like he's very, very low key. He doesn't like attention on him. But I think when he comes home, I'll just set up like a really cute birthday surprise, and I just want to make it look really cool and cute. So on Thursday, Gabby's gonna help me get that all together. So I'll show you guys how it looks. So I'm going to the Natick Mall. If you guys are from, you know, my area, and you know what's up, am I? Am I in the middle of like an oversized load situation? Oh my god. I think I just got between the oversized load and the trucks that say oversized load. Okay, that was stressful. Um, <laughs> so going to the Nate Mall, gonna get fitted. And while I'm there, I'm gonna pick up one of Alan's birthday gifts. And hopefully we don't get into any other shopping while I'm there because ain't nobody need any more clothes, Alexandra. Oh my god, I have enough spring clothing now. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Um, so, I guess that's all. Um, tomorrow, I'm gonna, I need to go get my nails done tomorrow. I mean, I could do that today, but I don't know. I'm gonna be out at this mall and I like to go to my usual spot. So, I'm gonna get my nails done tomorrow. They have grown out so much. Uh, it's been a little over two weeks. I love the dip powder. If you guys haven't tried it yet, it is definitely worth trying. Um, like, these are my real nails. 
they look like acrylics they're so long because the dip powder keeps your nails so hard like it literally makes them like they don't bend at all they're so hard <laughs> uh, everyone was like are those acrylics like these are my nails um, so they can grow out pretty far they're way too long now it's like uncomfortable like whenever I text I can hear like tapping on my screen and I don't like that um, so I'm gonna get my nails done tomorrow I found this really pretty design it's like kind of looks like a French manicure but it's like ombre ombre <laughs> where it's kind of like faded so I'm gonna try and see if they can do that with the dip powder tomorrow uh, I always start these vlogs off with a ramble because I haven't talked to y'all in a couple days so I'm sorry my hat is from Aldo because I know somebody gonna ask uh, I gotta keep doing this though I'm gonna keep trying to like link what I wear during the week in the description box for the vlogs um, just so you guys have the option to see and shop if you want to and I am still completely obsessed with this watermelon drink it gives me like natural caffeine and it makes me feel good oh yeah oh, I love me a quiet one day morning mall run I love going to the mall when there's no one here like there's no cars there's lots of parking I bet there's gonna be four people in here is anyone else like that? Just me? It's already more people than I thought. All right, I have no idea where Nordstrom is because I don't really go there because I'm not that fancy. <laughs> All right, my appointment is finished and I'm in the bathroom. I don't think anyone else is in here. This bathroom is so bougie. <laughs> like if you're ever at the Natick Mall, go to the bathroom by Nordstrom. <laughs> like, so fancy. <laughs> Look at the chandelier. Like, it's bougie. <laughs> it's a bathroom. <sighs> this giant sitting area. You could like literally do your whole makeup routine here. All right, I'm gonna go try not to shop on my way out. <laughs> okay, so I just got to the nail salon. I thought, why not? I kind of breezed through everything earlier and quicker than I thought I would. It's only one o'clock, so I'm like, May as well go now. TBH, my nails are kind of driving me crazy. You know when they're like so long, they're just like tapping on everything. So I'm gonna go get my nails done. I'll show you guys the picture that I saw on Pinterest. Oh, there's a car coming next to me. Oh, <laughs> why? Why you gotta come up in my space? Actually, it's not my space. Okay, so this is what it looks like. That's what I'm gonna go for. We'll see how they do. Guys, it is three o'clock. It took two hours, but they're so beautiful. It's so pretty. So it's like kind of like um, a French in ombre form. Like she kind of, she still did the dip powder. It took a really long time to, it always takes kind of forever to take the dip off. Um, and then we used the dip powder again, which is my favorite. And like she kind of sprinkled the pink and sprinkled the white and like blended them together. It took a really long time. I give her so much credit. Um, and she just did such a good job. I'm so thankful. I want to go back to her. She did an amazing job. And she did my cuticles really well because sometimes they don't do your cuticles well enough and my cuticles are gross. Oh, I love them. They still look really long, but my nail beds are really long on their own because we trimmed them quite a bit. But oh, I love them. Guys, I am home now. I'm going to go to my bedroom because I'm a little bit uncomfortable right now. Um, having a weird moment. My heart is racing. I actually just had to call my mom because, I don't know, there's just like a really weird thing that happens in my apartment. So I've mentioned my neighbor before, um, the guy across the hall. I don't know how much I've told, I can't remember. Basically every time I see him, I run into him. He's like an old man. He's elderly. Uh, every time I run into him, he's extremely kind and nice and friendly. Like, hi, how are you? Like very, very upbeat. And I've heard him when he like, you know, walks home from his car or up the stairs. I mean, he talks to himself and that's not a big deal. He's always kind of rambling to himself, me. But uh, he screams a lot and yells a lot and like, it's in spurts. And I know he lives alone, at least I think. I've never seen anyone else come or go and I'm here all the time. So I'm like that creepy neighbor that looks at everything. So he lives alone, I'm pretty sure. Um, but he, the screaming is terrifying 
because sometimes I'll just be, I, I sit in silence sometimes, like just like on my phone, answering emails, working, whatever, and I'll just hear him, like, I don't know, the walls are kind of thin, but I think when I'm in the kitchen, like, he's across the hall, so I think when he's in his kitchen, we're both kind of just like in the same, you know, area, so I can hear him more clearly, and I just come home with my groceries, and I'm setting them down, and all of a sudden I just hear, like, a scream, like, ah, like that, like, it sounds like he's like being attacked or like something so I like I like stop and I go over and I listen at the door just to make sure he's okay because like I don't I don't know what's going on but this happens constantly and like I, I know he's okay because I can like hear him moving around and it will come and go and you know he gets up every day and goes and get his coffee like I, I see him <laughs> it sounds so creepy <laughs> but like I sit at my desk by the front window in the morning usually when I'm answering emails or editing so I just happen to see what's outside in the parking lot in front of me uh and he'll he's very like functionable and normal and i don't normal i don't know i don't know what normal is anymore but like it went on for so long i had to call my mom like should i you know go say something and i'm like is it safe like i don't know i don't i just didn't know what to do i just felt uncomfortable over and over like just like so like but like screaming i'm not even gonna imitate it but it's like nah, nah. like i can't do it as loud but like it's like angry yelling and it just sometimes i'll hear him be like shut up like it's like i can make out the words but it's just it's so loud and when you see him and you talk to him he's so friendly and calm i don't know it's just i never know what to do <laughs> um because he's given me no reason to think he's like in pain or danger i don't know i just i just like when people yell or even like fight whatever like that oh it that brings my anxiety way up i am extremely sensitive to people yelling um and i just never know what to do and this happens all the time like it's just and i'm always here because i work from home i don't know i don't know if this story was even interesting but like i just feel very uneasy right now and i'm home alone and like alan's never heard it because you know he's never really here when it's happening i don't know i'm just like uneasy so i don't know hey guys Happy Tuesday. Um, woke up sick. Don't know what is going on. I'm so frustrated. I just, <laughs> I don't know. Well, it came on last night. Alan was making dinner. And sometimes when he uses the cast iron, it like makes the room really smoky and we have to like open the door and put the fan on. And I thought my nose was just running from that because it always does. Um, but... It wasn't that I guess I don't know I woke up and in the middle of the night I could just I was like sneezing in the middle of the night and it was like waking me up and I woke up and I had like a million used tissues next to me I'm like girl what is going on and I've just been so congested but also my nose is runny like it's like blocked up here runny down here it's just it's such a mess I'm so frustrated um and I was really excited I was gonna film today I've just been really low energy I wanted to like do an easter egg video with Alan but I'm just not feeling up for it. Um, I just feel so congested. You know when you're so congested you feel like dizzy? Uh, I don't know. I'm just really annoyed. I didn't get to post today. And I don't know if I'll feel well enough tomorrow. I think I'm just going to like force myself to tomorrow. Because I just um, got medicine. And Alan just went to get us some dinner. Uh, so we have no food in the house. No like, you know, main course food. Uh, but... This worked for me last time I was starting to get sick. I think I had mentioned it to you before. I really like the Zycam uh, little nasal swabs. So these are great. Last time I started to get a cold, I started using these and I feel like my cold went away really quickly. And it also, when I use them, like you like swirl the nasal swab in your nose. And um, I do feel like my nose feels better after it has like cooling menthol and eucalyptus. It just feels better. It kind of dries you up a little bit. And I think these are all natural. I'm not sure. Uh, but I also love <laughs> more medicine. Uh, Sudafed for congestion is really good and really strong. So I use those. You can use them together. Um, but ugh. this is not going to be a fun week for a vlog. Unless I start to feel better quickly. Sometimes I'll get this and it will last for like... A day or two and then I'll feel better but I don't know I rested pretty much all day today so hopefully I'll get better quickly um 
We're supposed to get a snowstorm tomorrow. I don't even know what life is anymore. An it's a nor'easter, but I think we're gonna get like another foot. This is so weird. And today's the first day of spring. Happy first day of spring. I feel like I wanted to show you guys something else too. Maybe not. Oh, I showed you my nails yesterday. <laughs> All right, um, I'm just gonna keep resting. Shane Dawson posted a new video, so I'm gonna go watch that. Shane is always a good idea. All right, good morning, everyone. It's the next morning. Um, I still have my morning voice. Got my lemon water. I'm watching the new Trisha and Jason vlog. Still keeping up with that. Let me know your thoughts down below. I'm kind of obsessed. Um, <laughs> I love these bagels, wanted to share. I don't know, I just like them. They're like, Supposedly better for you. They have like protein and um, all sorts of good things for you So if you like bagels because I feel like bagels have no nutritional value, but I love 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 these <sighs> And then the main course of breakfast The medications. Hey guys. Okay. I am in the car now. I'm at a stoplight. I am en route to go and get a massage um this always seems to happen. I book a massage in advance and then I end up getting sick for it. I can't remember if I, I don't think I went to my last one because I was sick. Um, it was like a while back. But I made an appointment to get a massage because when I first started my Accutane, I remember um, my body just really was really, really achy when I started. It still is. It's definitely not as bad. I take the fish oil every day uh, and I do feel like it's helping because <laughs> uh, it doesn't hurt as much and it's like going on two weeks now. Um, but <laughs> the first few days my body was so achy, like my back just hurt, like everything just felt kind of sore and achy. So um, I made a massage appointment just to kind of work that out. Um, and it's today and I woke up sick yesterday, but I don't know if it's good or bad to get a massage when you're sick. I googled it, I've seen every kind of answer. Some people say it's really bad to get a massage when you're sick because it can make things worse. Some people say it speeds up the recovery process and boosts your immune system. I saw every kind of answer and I know I'm probably gonna get a, um, a mixed review of answers in the comments, but I don't know. Um, I didn't want to cancel so last minute. And I'm going to a new place that I've never been before and I really want to see how it is. And um, Since I don't feel great, I think a massage is going to be kind of nice. So we'll see how that goes. But I think I had mentioned in my last vlog that um, I was having headaches every day on the Accutane, like a dull headache. So my doctor had me stop for a couple days and then she switched me to every other day. I don't remember if I mentioned that. I think I did. Um, <laughs> when I do my one month Accutane update, I'll you know, recap everything as well, but I'm just keeping you guys in the weekly vlogs kind of up to date as well. But I'm sure not everybody watches these, so I don't know. Hopefully it's not too repetitive, but I'm just kind of keeping you guys up to date as I'm going. I did take my Sudafed though, and I feel like my nose is not running as much. I just want to get through <laughs> this hour without you know being a sniffly mess. Uh, but. So I had to stop my Accutane for a couple days. She was like, let's just see if your headache goes away because like it's only, you know, dangerous if it's like a really bad headache and your vision gets messed up and my vision was fine. Um, I just think my body was just like adapting to the new medicine. So uh, I stopped for a couple days. Now I'm doing it every other day and I haven't had any more problems with my headaches. So that's good. I think um, she's like, it's considered like a lower dosage now because um, every other day with the 40 milligrams, so it's like 20 milligrams a day kind of. Um, and that's a lower dosage that some people start on. So I guess that's what we're doing. I also have a tiny little pimple in the middle of my eyebrows. And that's a little unpleasant, but whatever. I haven't had too much breakout since I started the Accutane. And she did tell me it gets, it can get worse before it gets better and you don't really see results for a couple months. So um, we won't expect to see results right away, but uh, a lot of the bumps that I did have are starting to go down. Like I had a lot of bumps on this cheek and when I touch it now, it's like actually pretty smooth. So that's cool. Um, should I go on the highway or should I go the back way? I'll go the back way. I, I just realized I don't have cash. And I don't know if they're a cash for tip only. Oh, I completely forgot about that. I don't know why it's like that with most like salons and spas. I don't know. I hope, hope I don't need cash for the tip. I don't know. I think
I feel like for a massage, I should be able to tip on my card. Fingers crossed. <laughs> That's the Accutane update. I'm definitely feeling better. I do feel like I've started to adapt. My skin is still not really dry. My lips are so dry. Oh my God. I've never experienced any sort of thing like this on my lips. Um, I tried to wear a matte lipstick the other day. And oh God, it looked so bad. I was like, I can't wear this. Uh, it just looked like crusty, crusty and textured and awful. Uh, so I've been wearing mostly just like chapstick. And if I wear lipstick, I'll wear like a cream. <sighs> but no, my skin is still pretty normal to oily. You, know, you guys know my skin was really oily. I feel like it's a little less oily, uh, but probably soon we'll start to see the dry skin coming in. I, maybe too, I've been using like all my dry skin products that I bought to kind of stay on top of it, like ahead of the game. Uh, Cause they recommend like, you know, just use the dry skin products right away so you stay on top of it. And that's what I've been doing. So maybe that's why it doesn't feel super dry yet. I don't know. I don't know. That's it, I guess, for my morning update. Uh, the snowstorm is coming in today. Um, this afternoon. And it's gonna be going, I think tomorrow's Alan's birthday. And I think the snow is gonna be like going into tomorrow. Uh, so we'll see how that goes like I said we're supposed to get a lot but it's like kind of an awkward timing because it's going to be like tonight this evening into like midday tomorrow so I wonder if they're going to like cancel school cancel work or not we'll have to wait and see and it doesn't matter for me because I'm an ill child who works from home I just had my massage and I sat in the steam room and it felt so good I feel less congested just took a shower it's actually much later in the day I filmed a couple of videos today um, with the cold medicine it dries up my nose so I can be pretty productive which is nice uh, I filmed a couple of videos edited one put one up because I felt really sad that I didn't have one up yet this week and it's Wednesday um, I hadn't posted since Sunday so I posted that I posted the no mirror makeup challenge uh, if you want to see how that came out it will be the video you've watched before this or two videos I don't know it's up and it was really funny it was so much fun to edit I had so much fun filming it but it's the end of the day now it's actually getting close to dinner time so I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna cook all I have I think is chicken breast I don't know what else I have Ooh, I have cauliflower I could make that buffalo cauliflower again that was so so good um my lips are so dry mmm they're so dry from the Accutane, it's crazy. No matter how much chapstick or moisturizer or exfoliator I do, um, so dry. But the rest of my skin is still not dry, so don't know when that's gonna happen. But uh, I think that's probably gonna be it for today's vlog, um, and I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow for Alan's birthday, when the storm is coming, and Alan's birthday. I need to go get him a cake and I want to get him balloons and I want to have like a really cute setup for when he gets back from work. So as much as I would love for him to have the day off of work tomorrow because of snow, I'm also like, you need to go to work because I need to set up your birthday display. <laughs> I need to wrap his presents too. Anyway, all right. Uh, I'm going to go chill and keep working and I have one more video to edit and then I will see you guys tomorrow for Alan's birthday. Hello! I just filmed a tutorial on this look and the sun is just starting to get a little wonky on me so thank god we finished that time. Ooh, that am Reezy highlight though. Uh, hello! It is Thursday! It's Alan's birthday! But he's at work so... While he is at work, I shall plan. Uh, I just finished this makeup look. It's very like warm and shimmery and glowy. It's like my first dry skin tutorial. Uh, it should be up when you're watching the vlogs if you haven't watched it yet. Um, I wasn't, I thought it would be like a prime morning to film. Uh, I don't have blinds in my office. So when the sun comes through, it's like terrible. But we had a snowstorm. Snowstorm was a farce. I'll fill you in on that in a second. But uh, <laughs> I really thought that I would be good because it was like pouring snow and now the sun is like coming through and I usually try to film when it's like overcast so it's just a hot mess. Uh, <laughs> but literally they overhyped that snowstorm so hard we actually got maybe 
maybe three inches maybe two it's like already melted on the ground <laughs> they canceled school yesterday <laughs> well they got out early yesterday and like it barely did anything so it's kind of hilarious New England <laughs> we are crazy anyway uh, I just filmed this tutorial I'm gonna edit it then I'm gonna be hanging out with Gabby today she's just gonna run errands with me I'm gonna go pick up some birthday balloons um, since Alan had to work this morning I got up and made him breakfast but um, when he comes home tonight I just want to make a really cute little display which I had mentioned I just want to put up um, you know balloons like a banner gotta pick him up a cake pick him up some of his favorite food for dinner Alan does not have a favorite food like I, I ask him all the time like what's your favorite food he's like I like everything he's like so he doesn't have a favorite so it was very stressful trying to figure out what to get him for dinner um also loving the blunt cut even with curls I'm like really into this sharp line so anyway that's that I guess I'm gonna start editing this makeup look and hopefully get it up for you guys soon Okay, it has been a day of getting this together and there are some story times that go with this. So these are just my little decorations. I just have a little emoji balloon and like a little confetti banner, happy birthday banner, 27, and his presents. And he also has some cards there from my mom and my grandma. So pretty cute pretty cute um, I picked up one of his favorite foods for dinner I got him a cake uh, the cake is really pretty I'll show you later so <laughs> the funniest thing happened I don't know why I look so bright uh, the funniest thing happened Gabby and I went to get the balloons and I've had this problem before I don't know if it's the specific kind of balloon if it's overfilled or what but we get the balloons home and we put them up and about maybe 10 minutes later, the two just combusted. <laughs> like it just exploded out of nowhere. And it's not near like heat, so the heat wasn't on. Like I don't know if it was overfilled or what, because I know some can heat, heat pop, pop from heat. Back when I did my birthday shoot with my 25 balloons, um, mine popped in the car because it was too hot in the car. So <laughs> Gabby and I went back. So we've been out for literally like four hours. We went to lunch and got lunch, but we also ran around and you know got all this stuff. I also, <laughs> Alan's presents are wrapped crazy because I didn't know that this was like clear cellophane wrap. I thought it was like red wrapping paper. <laughs> So I had to like wrap it in tissue paper. It was just, it's been a day. It took me a while, but I think we're all good. Um, so Alan's coming home in like an hour. So I'm just gonna relax for a little bit. Probably start editing this vlog. Oh, Shane posted a new video too. So I gotta go watch that. Um, he and Ryland with the baby. Oh, I hope they can adopt a baby or have a baby. I hope Morgan can carry their baby. I just am obsessed with their little family. Uh, so I'll check in later. Alan's birthday cake. Do you like everything? I'm mad. Yay. I'm mad. You like? Thank you for the cake. You're welcome. Cake, 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 cake. Okay. Cake. It's so, not. It's mousse. Oh, I got a mousse cake. <laughs> oh wait, can we put the crown on you for the vlog? <coughs> <laughs> okay, I go get it. Alan's been taking lots of pictures. If you follow his Snapchat, you've probably seen all of it. <laughs> Or his Instagram. It doesn't stay on his head, but it just looks so cute. <laughs> it's, I think it's for kids. It's really small. Uh, oh. <laughs> this is for kids. It's, it's definitely for kids. Definitely. I'm really mad. I thought I got it in the like normal adult section. You like that pose? <laughs> Aw, you're cute. Crown? Alright, don't move. We'll get your picture. <laughs> 